Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I'm Jolim, can't believe that I'm already on my 30s. But well, in order to celebrate that, I want to talk about 15 fragrances that will make you stand out in a crowd. These fragrances, uh, at least that happens with me. These fragrances are all very regal, sultry, opulent, uh, they are unique, uh, they last for a very long time. And so I think these 15 fragrances will definitely serve that purpose. So I have here seven designers and eight niche fragrances and I will talk about them in a no specific order. So let's start with the designer side and I have here, I consider this my favorite designer fragrance ever. It is from the house of Dio and it is Dio Homme Parfum this one right here. Uh, this is the old bottle formula uh, presentation, but the new 100 ml bottle size, it's still the same. I mean, at least it's what I hear. Uh, I don't know, I still didn't try the new bottle presentation, the new 100 ml of Guillaume Parfum, but I already read in forums, Facebook groups, and even already heard opinions that Actually, it's the same formula. The opening it's a bit different, but in the end, it's the same scent and lasts as well for a very long time. So I have, I'm happy uh, to to know that I'm, I still need to try for myself. But at least the feedback that I already got is quite positive. So talking about this fragrance specifically, if you want to stand out in a crowd, I will definitely uh, suggest Dion Parfum. Jérôme Parfum is wow, <laughs> exactly, is wow. So you have Iris, um, but it's not as make-up-y nor as sweet as in uh, Jérôme and Jérôme Intense. It's still butchery, it still has a makeup nuance, but it's more toned down because then you have the rose and the leather has the most prominent uh, notes followed by cedar wood. People say, some people say that this also has wood. I never detect any wood in here, but I can say that this is a masterpiece, at least in my opinion, of course. So the first fragrance, and this lasts for a very long time. Um, I already received so many good feedback with this one, uh, but actually that's another thing that I want to mention. Uh, to stand out in a crowd doesn't mean that you will receive good feedback um, actually with all of these fragrances except one or another that I still didn't try like in the crowd uh, with my friends um, but except for one or another uh, the others actually I receive good feedback but doesn't necessarily mean that you will get good feedback because these fragrances are a bit challenging and daring and quite unique and different from what is in the mainstream market so doesn't mean that you will get good feedback, but still, with this one, my experience is very positive. It's the first one is Dion Parfum. Highly advise you to check this one out. This for me is definitely a must-have. Now, the next fragrance that I want to mention is from the house of Mugler, and this is a classic released in 1996, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is Amen, the original. So, Amen, the original is amazing this was a groundbreaking release back in the 90s uh, and i think to this day it's still groundbreaking uh, you still have a lot of fragrances that are inspired by the sentine first one that comes to my mind is by killian um now i'm forgetting the name it's by killian something that it's not black phantom it's intoxicated uh it's intoxicated from by killian that it's it's quite similar to this one. Of course, people say that it's a superior fragrance because it's more expensive and it's niche. Well, okay, I can I can give you that, but I still think that this is better, in my opinion. Um, this has the rough edges. This has, yes, this is a bit synthetic and that might turn people off, but I really do enjoy that. And you have still coffee in here. You have uh, patchouli, like this earthy, chocolatey patchouli. The, the coffee here gives gourmand qualities. Um, 
this has also a tar nuance in here and that also is a factor that turn off people with this one but I think this for me it's borderline a masterpiece also this was an innovation in the masculine fragrances back then I mean this is the first gourmand fragrance um, and especially in the more masculine uh, side of things so I think this to this day I think it's still a must-have this fragrance is a must-have uh, especially if you love perfumes this is definitely a must-have yes again might be a bit synthetic but I still absolutely love this and you will definitely stand out in the crowd because again you don't have a lot of fragrances especially in the designer side that smell like this more niche yes but designers not at all um, and this is still fairly unique and if you love gourmand fragrances if you love patchouli if you love masculine give this one a shot even if you already tried on the tester strip test this test this fragrance on your skin a lot of people say that this now with the l'oreal um, umbrella this now it's more weak in performance and in the, as an overall scent but still just give this one a try i absolutely love this the other fragrances that i could mention like pure malt pure avon pure wood pure tonka you name it all the fantastic flankers of this line i couldn't mention them but they are very hard to come by nowadays and I don't know what the strategy of L'Oreal for Mugler at this moment. This is the most uh, readily available and it's quite affordable in the online discounters. 100 ml bottle size like this. So again, if you want to stand out, check this one out. It is Amen, the original from Mugler. The next fragrance that I have here is from the house of Lalique and it is Lalique. Encre Noir à l'extrême. This is one of the very best vetiver fragrances out there, especially in the designer side of things. Actually, this whole line, the Encre Noir line, is a masterpiece through and through. Um, but this is my favorite of the three because this is the most complex and this has that resinous, smoky, dry nuance that I absolutely love in fragrances. Uh, the vetiver here is grassy, it's earthy, uh, dry, but then you have the resinous and the smoky nuances, the balsamic nuances of this fragrance that makes this more unique and again, will make you stand out in the crowd a bit more. Great performance and it's very masculine in my opinion. It's definitely more masculine than feminine. But again, if you are a woman and if you love woodsy fragrances, check this one out. And again, you will definitely stand out in the crowd. It is La Lique Encre Noir à l'extrême. And you can purchase this one in the online discounters, like a 100ml bottle size like this. Beautiful presentation for 26, 27 euros. So, it's a great pricing, a great deal for a fragrance with the high quality of La Lique Encre Noir à l'Extrême. And actually the whole line comes has a high quality scent all around vetiver, but all the three of them quite different from each other. And again, this one is my favorite because of the balsamic, resinous, uh, dry nuances. La Lique Encre Noir à l'Extrême, this one will definitely make you stand out in the crowd. The next fragrance that I want to talk about is from House of Gucci and it is Gucci Guilty Absolute. This fragrance is outstanding, but it's a hard one to love, especially at first sniff. Uh, because definitely for me, this was not love at first sniff and I definitely see why people don't enjoy this and actually understand why this was not very successful. Uh, in sales and that's the reason why this is or this will be discontinued unfortunately uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute is all about leather and vetiver this is very dry this doesn't have any sweet edges whatsoever it's very masculine very raw very industrial this has like an industrial leather accord uh, and that comes across like band-aids and that's why people might be turned off with this fragrance and, and actually that was the reason why i didn't enjoy this fragrance at first now i absolutely love this this is a true niche fragrance 
Um, this is a bit synthetic, yes, but when I say niche fragrances, I'm talking about the uniqueness. I'm talking about uh, the sultry nuances of this fragrance. I'm talking about the originality of uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute. And that's why this for me comes across as a more niche than designer. Uh, and well, because of that, this will be discontinued. Um, unfortunately, again, this fragrance is, wow, out of this world. I love this. If you love leathers, check this one out. It's very rugged, very raw, very masculine. It's mature. But if you love this type of scents, try this one out. This is, this fragrance is like a revenge of the 80s type of scent. Uh, it's not very common that you see designer fragrances. Designer houses release this type of scents nowadays. Again, unfortunately. And that's why this didn't succeed. But... It's still an outstanding scent. It's still a fragrance that will definitely make you stand out. Um, again, a great fragrance for the upcoming winter time. Uh, for the fall time as well, it's great. So it's amazing for the colder weather in general. Gucci Guilty Absolute. What an outstanding leather scent. The other fragrance that I have here is from the house of Cartier and it is Pacha de Cartier Parfum beautiful bottle presentation and this fragrance was released last year if i'm not mistaken this is a fairly recent release from cartier and this is like a fougere for the modern days this fragrance wow it's so good i get like this honeyed boozy like cognac impression cognac whiskey impression and neither of these two chords are listed as official chords. And this has, of course, lavender, lots of lavender that gives this fougere aromatic nuance in the opening. And you have tons of amber, tons of labdanum, which creates this sweet, warm uh, edge to the scent. This is out of this world. This lasts through the entire day. Everyone will smell you. This on my skin leaves a fantastic scent cloud. You can fill a room, at least I can, fill a room with, with Pacha de Cartier Parfum. This is perfect for the colder weather, for spring days as well. Might be too much for the summer because of the sweet nuances. I still don't think that this is too sweet, but some people find this a bit too sweet. But nonetheless, I highly advise you to check this fragrance out. It's a fragrance that will definitely make you stand out in a crowd. It's Pacha de Cartier Parfum, and it has the quality stamp of Cartier. Now the next fragrance that I want to talk about is from the house of Tom Ford that doesn't need any introduction, neither in this channel, neither in the fragrance community overall. It's from the Private Blend collection and it is Tobacco Vini. Now I wore Tobacco Vini uh, at midnight on my birthday from Tuesday to Friday. Um, this fragrance is very special to me. Um, this is so good. Nowadays you have hundreds and hundreds of fragrances inspired by this sentient name but this for me is still my favorite this is an original release of the private blend back in 20, um, 2007 uh, if i'm not mistaken and it, tom ford released the private blend collection back then with seven fragrances uh, this one was one of them tobacco vanille then you had tom ford's uh, noir de noir Woodwood, Japon Noir, and a couple of others. This one definitely stood the test of time. Oh, man, this is so good. Of course, tobacco, vanilla, uh, spicy, a bit boozy. It's delicious. It's a gourmand fragrance with tobacco. I mean, it, it's so good. It's that good. It smells like Christmas, but it's a very romantic and elegant at the same time very addicting and the performance is amazing at least on my skin now i don't know the formulation of this uh, bottle specifically but on my skin this lasts the entire day and night 
um, another fragrance that makes me stand out in the crowd uh, it's Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny. Now the next and last fragrance in the designer side of things that will definitely make you stand out in the crowd it is from the House of Moschino and it is Toy Boy. Now it's not only because of the bottle presentation <laughs> but it's of course because of the scent DNA. I already did a review of this one and um, this fragrance for me was not low as first sniff because I just tested this in the test strip before and this on paper doesn't smell very pleasant. On my skin is amazing. This is all about pear, rose and it has like a faux leather impression. It's amazing. Uh, it's very unique. Um, the rose here, it's a bit jammy. And this is a playful fragrance because of the sweet pear. Uh, but the rose give also a more serious mature edge and you have this like plasticky leather that overall creates a very unique makes this a very unique scent in the end <laughs> great performance and again it's a fragrance that i really advise you to check uh, to check it out um, this is very affordable in the online discounters after all it's a moschino and if you want just a fragrance to go to a night out situation to formal events even i think this will work wonderfully um it's a fantastic scent and also it's good for date night scenarios i feel so i think this fragrance might not be the most natural smelling scent not at all but it serves its purpose in the originality, uh, even in the blend itself. Uh, I think this is a, tr a fantastic designer release, one of the best designer releases in the last couple of years, definitely. It's Toy Boy from Moschino. Now let's talk about the niche fragrances. I have here eight fragrances, and the first one is from the house of Frederick Mal, and it is Promise. Oh, you will definitely stand out with this one. This is nuclear in terms of performance uh, and in terms of scent character, it's equally amazing. Oh, this is breathtaking. It's so good. You have apple in here and it's for me the best apple accord that I ever smelled. Maybe tied up with La Danza de la Libelola with uh, that it was, it's from the Nobile uh, 1942 it's an Italian house I definitely need to purchase a couple of their fragrances but well talking about promise a fantastic apple accord in here it's so good you have uh, of course pepper rose two types of rose Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose labdanum cypriol the cypriol creates this leathery dark woodsy nuance to this scent of course it's a synthetic molecule but it's done so well in here and of course you also have castorium this is i consider this an animalic like a fruity animalic scent it's wonderful um i love the dimensions of this fragrance because i get the apple then the rose uh definitely the cypriol nuances with that leather with that dark woodsy nuances you have also patchouli and then the castorium that creates like an animalic nuance overall to this fragrance promise is wonderful um it's from the desert jams collection it's the most affordable fragrance in that collection of frederick mall absolutely love this uh for me this was love at first sniff um, and you'll definitely stand out it's promise again from frederick mall the next scent that I have here is a fragrance that I have actually yet to review. Uh, this was sent to me for review purposes and this is just a side note. Um, it was sent to me by the brand and it is Falcon Leather by Mathieu Premier. Mathieu Premier really is an outstanding fragrance house and you all know that if I don't appreciate a fragrance, even if it was given to me for review, I will tell you. Um, 
it's not the case of this one and actually Mathieu Premier is a fragrance house that really impressed me uh, I have on my wish list and this uh, I really want to purchase uh, it's Radical Rose and the other one that it's a, the Cologne it's a Cologne Cologne something that I now don't recall the name but this one wow fucking leather oh it's so good <laughs> Again, another fragrance that will make you stand out in the crowd. This is, of course, leather, but you have labdanum, you have birch tar, you have benzoin, saffron. So this is a smoky, spicy, resinous leather. Wow, amazing. Now, when I tried this at first, I was like, I think I already smelled this um, because the notes break down. I mean, it's quite common. You, I mean, you have a lot of fragrances with labdanum, with saffron, with benzoin. I mean, birch tar. But as a leather overall, I feel that this is quite unique. And this is a eau de parfum. This is a fragrance that will last you the entire day and evening. I already got great feedback with this one. And again, it's a scent that will definitely make you stand out in the crowd because I mean you don't have a lot of people smelling like this out there so I think it's a stunning scent masculine elegant um, and yet quite um, a bit mature but still playful because of the sweet resinous nuances this is fantastic I feel that this is very sensual I feel that this is very sexy and it's a scent that oh, and the birch star here, my the, the smokiness with the saffron, it's so good. Absolutely love this one. Is Falcon Leather by Mathieu Premier. No de parfum concentration, and again, it's a scent that will make you stand out. Now, the next fragrance that I have here is from House of Guerlain from the Absolute Dorian collection, and it is Bois Mysterieux. Bois Mysterieux is a fragrance that will definitely make you stand out in the crowd. This one is all about laurel, saffron, has leather, has a hint of oud, although I think oud is not listed as an official note. Um, it feels animalic. I think this has like civet or castorium. It's amazing. It's spicy, it's aromatic. It's heavy, it's dark, but it's not too heavy. It's wonderful. It's so good. Um, Bois Mysterio, it's one of the very best fragrances from Guerlain. This used to be Songe du Bois d'été. Um, now it's Bois Mysterio. Smells the same, at least for me. I already smelled both, and for me, they smell the same. But Bois Mysterio, it's a masterpiece, in my opinion and the performance is amazing very dark very mysterious and sensual masculine fragrance that it's a must try is Bois Mysterieux from Garon. the next fragrance that I have here is from the house of Profumum Roma of course Profumum Roma needed to be featured here and it is patchouli the best patchouli out there in my opinion my favorite patchouli of course uh, this is all about patchouli like a full-on earthy chocolatey patchouli that is simply to die for um, it's very linear but it's masculine it's oh man it's so good it's delicious even I would say it's a scent that I highly advise you to check out if you love patchouli it's this one this is the holy world patchouli for me it's from profumo broma fantastic performance lasts the entire day and will make you stand out in the crowd the next scent that i have here is from house of amouage and again amouage is a fragrance house that needed to be featured here uh, and it is jubilation 25 and you can see how much i already wore this um, this is a favorite of mine um one of the it's in the top three favorite fragrances from Amouage, definitely. This is sultry, this is elegant, it's just so good. Uh, it's complex, I mean, complex in a way that this has a lot of notes featured here. Doesn't mean that this is like, this will change 
you know it's a it's a linear fragrance i would say i mean it's not as linear as the perfume aroma fragrance but still for the note breakdown i feel that this is a bit linear but it's done so well so you have blackberry you have labdanum you have frankincense of course you have wood benzoin um, you have a hint of castorium. I think you have an emalic nuances featured in here. I mean, you have everything. <laughs> you really have. You have jasmine. You have everything in this fragrance. Uh, this was created by Bertrand du Chaffeau, which again doesn't need any introduction. This is an outstanding scent. Um, the blackberry here is very prominent. It's very realistic, actually. It's very fruity, berry, juicy. And with the frankincense, with benzoin, with labdanum, with oud, I mean, this, all of this sentinate, amazing, it's magic, magic in a bottle. And again, no one will smell like this. And I mean, seriously, just the look of this beautiful bottle presentation will just transmit the message that you want to stand out, you want people to notice you, and they will notice you with jubilation 25 from Amouage. Now the next fragrance that I have here is from the house of Sergeov and I could have mentioned a lot of fragrances from Sergeov but I wanted to feature it because it's a favorite of mine from this house. Alcat. Alcat is all about wood and jasmine. This is quite animalic, uh, it's very indolic. The jasmine here is very prominent and it's even the jasmine that creates this more animalic nuance to this scent of course the wood here the wood here it's a bit sweet and um, but it helps to enhance the animalic qualities of this fragrance it's amazing but this is a fragrance that i haven't yet wore like next to my pairs next to my friends next to my girlfriend no i so i don't know how their reaction will be but i'm sure that for the better or worse, I will stand out. No one will smell like this. <laughs> it's incredible. I absolutely love this scent. Uh, for me, it's addicting. For me, it's so sexy. Um, it's sexual even because of the animalic nuances. Um, I absolutely love this one. And it has a sweet edge uh, in here. So this is one of the best fragrances from Sergeov. Quite unique, although if you haven't smelled this one, I would say that this, the jasmine in here kind of, kind of resembles to Mugler Alien for a woman. Um, it's the closest jasmine that I could mention for you to have a reference, of course. Uh, it's a stunning scent, this one, nonetheless. Uh, high quality fragrance, quite unique. Um, and again, one of the best from Sergio. It's Alcat, and although I still don't know how it, how the reactions will be, but I definitely know that this will make me and will make you stand out in the crowd. The next fragrance that I have here is from House of Tiziana Terenzi, and I wanted to feature like an rose wood scent, and this is for me the best or one of the best in this genre. It is gold rose wood, beautiful bottle presentation. Um, this scent is, of course, all about rose and wood, but with rose being a bit more prominent than the, than the wood, and the quality of this scent is amazing. Um, the rose here, it feels very natural, a very full-on red rose. No sweet, it's not like a jammy rose, and it, for me it's not, at least it's quite fresh. That makes sense. Like a fresh, full-on red rose. Oh man, it's so good. And you have the wood right after that creates this resinous dark nuance. Is outstanding. I absolutely love this one. This is an extrait de parfum and it's very elegant. This is so elegant, uh, very sophisticated and again regal, sultry, powerful. Uh, yes, but at the same time the rose here it's so elegant. Um, I highly advise you to check this fragrance out. Um, it's opulent but still elegant. Love it. It's Tiziana, uh, Tiziana Terenzi Gold Rose Wood. 
last but definitely not least from the house of Ramon Monegal and actually I wore this on my birthday party on last Friday October 1st um, needless to say that of course uh, I got some atten I got some attention because of this fragrance this is Faiza beautiful bottle presentation here i already did a review of this one and i already talked about this fragrance a lot in this channel i love Ramo Morigal. it's i feel that it's very underrated in the fragrance community um faiza is oh wow <laughs> it's so powerful and enveloping and so opulent you have raspberry you have mimosa you have wood rose um you have a labdanum you have amber you have benzoin you have tons of notes featured in this fragrance but i mean i would not consider this like a rose wood scent uh the rose is here but the wood is not that prominent what i get really is mimosa raspberry saffron a bit of rose uh and definitely labdanum this fragrance is so good oh wow it's pure joy like the bottle says here i don't know if you can see it clearly but it's pure joy it, and it is it's definitely pure joy it's sweet not overly sweet in my opinion and it has so many facets you also have jasmine in here and then you get like an indolic nuance it's a very complex it's a very complex scent um and you will fill a room with this one i oversprayed uh this fragrance on october 1st and of course uh everyone noticed that and actually good feedback only good feedback uh, fortunately uh, i love this one one of the best scents from uh, ramon monegal definitely which i highly advise you to check this fragrance out amazing performance amazing scent very unique and you will stand out in the crowd with Pfizer. guys i hope you enjoyed this video i think it's already too long sorry for that tell me in the comments down below what fragrances would you suggest for me to try to stand out in the crowd i would love to see your suggestions hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one take care ciao